Let's go over the graphing again. Remember, when you're graphing, you need to know what are you looking for. What are you looking for? X. X what? Intercept. Intercept. What else? Y intercept and diverted. Those are the points that you are looking for if they exist. So is that the equation is in standard form? Then what do you see? One. How will you write it as an order pair? So one one will be your y intercept. That will be the easiest point to find. The graph can only touch the y axis at one, that's what it means. That's a y intercept. Then we're going to use either the easiest one in this case is with the quadratic formula to find the x intercept. What is the quadratic formula? <coughs> x equal negative, negative b plus or minus square, square root of b squared, b squared minus. And everything is divided by 2a. Two two a. That's your quadratic formula. Next, you need to identify your parameters. What is a? a is 3. What is b? 2. And what is c? 3 is 1. Then we're going to replace those things here to find your x intercept. Alright, then you will have x equal. Minus two. minus two plus and minus root of two squared, two squared exactly minus four times three times one. one divided by two, two times three. three. Then the game is on. We'll have x equal. Minus 2 plus or minus, what is that? 4 minus 12 over 6. Then you will have x equal minus 2 plus or minus root of, what is 4 minus 12? They got it A, and this you should sense a problem with that. What should happen here? The radical is negative. That's indicated as what? No x intercept. You're dealing with imaginary numbers. There's no way this graph will touch the x axis. You will not find x intercept. However, this can be simplified. If you're taking SAC, SCC, you'll have x equal minus 2 plus or minus. This is i. The same thing as square root of negative 1 times square root of a. What is square root of negative 1? This is i. And this is 4 times 2. Then you will have this. is plus or minus 2i root of 2 over six and the only thing you have to do to that what number they have in common two we'll have x equal this will be minus one plus or minus i over three that's the only thing you can do to that those are complex numbers you will end up with minus one plus or minus i root of two Right? Over three. That will be your final product. This thing that are I in it, there will be no X intercept. You will not find X intercept in this world. Now, the point we are going to use is the Y intercept and the vertex. Now pay attention to that. You don't have to go and work this out. This part is minus a, minus b over 2a, right? In the quadratic formula, minus b over 2a. That's our x-axis of symmetry. This is the x-coordinate of the vertex. 
when you look at it, that will be this part here. See? This will be your minus b over 2a. Don't go and find it again. You already find it. So the x coordinate of the vertex will be negative one third. You see? Don't go and find it again. That would be a waste of time. It's already there for you. See this part where it says minus b over 2a? Right? And this is again, this is minus b over 2a. That would be negative 2 over 6. But when you <coughs> simplify this and that, that would give you negative 1 third. Does that make sense? That the x coordinate of the vertex is negative one third. How will you find y? What will you do to find y? You will have to go plug this in here, wherever you see x. Then you will find the vertex. Then we will use a plate of reflection to get the other part of the graph. Does that make sense? So when the radical is negative, when this is negative, you will not find x-intercept. There exists no x-intercept. Either the vertex is above, the x-axis is going up. Therefore, it won't touch it. Or it's below the y-axis going down. It will not touch it. In this case, A is what? Positive is going what direction? What direction this graph goes? When A is positive, it's going up. You will see that your vertex is above the x-axis. That's what will happen. Now, we're going to calculate y value. So we'll have y equal 3 times right? negative 1 over 3. What will you do with that? What should you do with that? You square it out. That's what it says. Plus... 2 times what? Negative 1 third plus 1. That you have to calculate that. And you will end up with y equal order of operation. Which one you do first? This one, right? Then you will have 3 times, what is that? 1 over? Nine. 1 over 9. Good for you. You have to square that. Then you multiply this. This is going to become? Negative what? 2 over 3 plus 1 over 1. Alright? Now be careful. 3 goes to 9 how many times? 3 times. Now we need to find your common denominator. What is the common denominator? 3. Then you will have y equal 1 third minus 2 thirds, this you must multiply this by 3, that will give you plus 3 over 3, right? Those who are positive, you can add them, then you will have y equal, what is 1 plus 3? That will give you 4 thirds minus 2 thirds, what is that? Y would be equal to what? Two thirds. Two third. That would be your vertex. Now you have the, the entire vertex, which is two thirds. So those are the two points we need to graph. We're going to use this, that the vertex, and the y intercept. Now, we're going to use three units for one, right? Three squares for one. Because you're counting by third, right? One third, two third, three third. So this will be one unit, two unit, and this will be three unit. So we use every three squares are one unit. Same thing here. So you are the addis. That would be one, two, and three, this will be negative one, negative two, and negative three, that will be one, two, three. Negative one, negative two, negative three. Now let's flat zero one. Where will you flat zero one? Where is that located? 
on the y axis and where do you go up one unit that will be zero one that my y intercept zero one my vertex is what negative one third and two third that will be negative one third and two third that will be this point here all right this this is it is going up this is one part of my graph now what i'm going to do i'm going to use my x-axis of symmetry this one here you see i'm going to reflect it i need to know the distance from here to there how many unit is that one therefore i'm going to go one unit to here can you find out what point is that That will be negative two third and what? Negative two third and and one. That's my point of reflection. Then I'm gonna go do this, and that will be my graph. Right. You see, the vertex is above where? Yes, you always plug in it. Then since I don't have no x intercept. I'm going to find the distance from the y-intercept to the x-axis. How many units is, is, is it? If my graph goes this side, that's one half of my graph. The other graph has to be equal. The other part has to be the same thing as is. Therefore, I count what? One unit to the left of that. Then that's where I reflect it. Then that will give me my other half. Since I know it's going up, then that will be my u. Then that will be my graph. If you don't have the X and the you, you have to use the equator of the